Good evening, Rats. It is Sunday, 12th of April, 2015. I'm sure you noticed that it's looking a bit different behind me, so before we get going with this vlog, I'm going to show you a little around my new setup. Okay, so it's really just around here that it's changed. Um, not much changed elsewhere. Um, I haven't really changed much today. Actually, I have changed a bit up here, actually, because um, I used to have the Harry Potter VHS there, but... Oh, I've just removed it and put the Legend of Deckard characters um, straight on. I think it'll look better like that, in all fairness, you can see them more. Um, and we come to this part, so, TV and Xbox still there. I had the Xbox on the other side actually until later on today, but I thought the cable stretched too far. Um, so, yeah, and I put a laptop there. Um, this is my oldish laptop, it still works. It's just the headphone jack's broken. This is just for like, um, make screen capture more accessible because beforehand I needed to get my laptop out from under my bed, uh, put it on the bed and then do um, screen capture that way. Now it's basically just there whenever I need it and my screen capture um, device. Um, the USB isn't actually plugged into my laptop right now but it'll probably soon be permanently plugged in. Um, I haven't really got to run out, and also uh, I put the tripod here for um, face cam, uh, just in case we're doing anything like um, gameplay, which I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of doing a Cambridge cool, oh, that fell, a Cambridge career mode on FIFA, uh, because Cambridge have actually had a few decent updates in the latest uh, career mode updates. So uh, yeah, if you want to see me do a Cambridge career mode, uh, comment this video, Matt. So yeah, a lot more gameplay footage is what I'm aiming to do. Um, also, nothing I'm aiming to do. Um, we only had about that much cinnamon. Um, so I thought that wasn't enough to do two spoonfuls, so instead I, I'm going to buy some tomorrow. Not if it's shit, great. They won't ask me if, if I'm too old to buy cinnamon, so... Uh, and I'm going to um, use that tomorrow, so... I'm going to do that tomorrow, and the flour. I'd, I'd want to do the side by side, because that would give me the full effect have like a uh, goldish colour on one side and white on the other side, two lots of gold, one lot of white. Uh, the fire challenge doesn't seem, actually seem that hard, um, I don't know until I actually try it. Last year I thought the cinnamon challenge was too hard, but then I um, obviously went like... <coughs> yeah, you couldn't see it but it did go like... He did say he did me to do this on Friday, but I thought, seeing as I haven't got my punishment out, I'm going to talk through it now. So, um, yeah, he wanted me to discuss price ranges on FIFA. I've already done this a bit in my vlogs, but not completely, so for the next few minutes you're just going to hear me talk about price ranges and what I think about them and why I think they are a thing in FIFA. So obviously, I can't talk about price ranges like this. I've they don't look like I'm intelligent. He needs some brains to talk about this. So that's why, to look more intelligent. Okay, so price ranges on FIFA. They were introduced last month and they've really caused a stir in the FIFA community. KSI has not uploaded a FIFA video, to my knowledge, since the price ranges came out. And Roadshaw has not done any wages since they came out. Um, and those new to few YouTubers that I really follow. Oh, yeah. uh, MGH doesn't count because he does career mode, so. Anyway, what they are, basically they put ranges between what prices can sell, but as you know, Matt, so. Uh, I'm going to put a few snippets right now, players that I bought earlier on this year to make a bit of profit on. I hoped in a few months they make a bit of profit. Obviously Mason and Aaron's being bronze and they got upgraded, their cars become rare, they'll eventually go for like 20k each. And then there's um, the informs I got, all the informs, who I bought for 10k, hoping in a few months they'd be selling for like 30k. Obviously now the price ranges though are all 10k to 20k, uh, so I can't sell them for anything. So they're, they're literally, that's done me in. I've now barely got any coins, I can't really make any more coins. So, I'm really against price ranges, it's my own behalf, um, so that's why I don't like them. I can't make the profit. Let's discuss the pros of price ranges, because, mm, for me, it's behalf, there are quite a lot of pros. 
for one, coins on a website, at least until last week when it started to become prominent again, they were completely out of business. They couldn't trade the players they needed for the coins and stuff. They couldn't sell players for OTT prices like a million coins uh, for a non rare bronze. So, for years and a half, they've removed coin sellers until last week if they resurfaced. Also, from a year's behalf, it means that um, they'll get more tax. I don't know what tax really is, but they get more tax for it, so yeah. The coin tax you get for a way you sell player worth 5k, they year gets 200 coin tax. So, and EA made these to reduce price fixing, they say. It's kind of worked, but not to the extent. Those are really all the good points. The bad points are still to come. Yeah, they said price ranges would help reduce price fixing. In fact, it's made price fixing even worse. Alright Matt, here's a challenge. Right now, at this very moment, go on up with team. See if you can buy a sick bronze player for less than 300 coins. You can't! It's impossible. Literally all the sick bronzes are now like 2k. I don't. It's because of price ranges. Before this, so you could find good good bronze for like 300 coins. Now, none of them are going for less than 1k. Like that's another reason my coin balance is really low now because I just spent so much money on players that would have been worth 200 coins beforehand, but now they're worth 1k. So, uh, not the best thing. And uh, another thing they don't really help is the fact that. They don't really raise players' prices as they become more rare. The informs will remain at 10 to 20k and they won't ever rise, so they don't fix the rising prices. If, for instance, we get um, Diego Costa, for instance, scoring an overhead kick from the halfway line, before price ranges, his price would have gone from about 15k to 50k. Now it won't rise at all. And remember Gert Sisko in the World Cup final, his price skyrocketed, now it won't. So how do you think it's thick? They could have added price ranges. They could have added price ranges, but um, they did it wrong. It removed open bids. That's a horrible decision. Open bids are so fun to do. I love open bids. It allows you to get pairs for cheap. Sometimes they, don't, they miss them, and sometimes you get into a bidding war, and I love bidding wars. I don't know about you, but I love beating someone in a bidding war to get player for cheap and an extra go for buy now. So I'm a big fan of those, but they completely removed them. You could say 150 to 5k is still an open bid, but it isn't. It doesn't allow as much freedom. Price ranges, in all fairness, were a pretty decent idea, but they did it wrong. They could have put the price ranges way higher. I'd say they need to double price ranges. Like, there's no minimum price. There should be no such thing as a minimum price. Maximum price, though, I can see that. 5,000 coins for non rare bronze, that's decent. For about player going for 1k, about 10k price range. They're a good idea to stop extreme price fixing, but um, they should really have had certain players to go for a million coins just to keep the coin sellers happy because they're actually a really good, big business to EA. Some people watch KSI's videos, he advertises to coin sellers, which means people are more likely to go on FIFA and buy the product, which gives money to EA. So, in a way, they're losing money by not get into coin sellers money if you get what I mean. So as you can tell price ranges are a really bad thing and in FIFA 16 if they continue on, as KSL's already pointed out, it'll be awful. I'll never find any hidden gems or EA will not know who's hidden gems until the game comes out so you won't know how much to price them for. It'll be so bad. E players score goals and they do really well. For instance if oh, oh just a rough example and Boy Atted as well for Man City next season. Um, who, his max price is 5k and then he gets upgraded to a silver and then an inborn gold. Like, his price will still be low, but in Fever for 14, when prices were in at all, he would be like 50k. They just need to. At least for the start, because they don't know how much players will go for. At the start of Fever, everyone's price is high because they know they're good, but not common, if you get what I mean. Anua Her is sick. He's a gold centre back of QPR. He's amazing. I bought him for free kit at Star FIFA, but that's at the Star FIFA. I mean, next FIFA, I might have him for cheaper. But it, they just don't know how much they'll go for. They need to remove them. 
It's just that there's no really, nothing anything against going. What the hell am I saying? There's nothing going against Forest Rangers in Viva 16. Um, apart from the fact you don't know how much they're going to go for, and that's a really bad thing. So they should remove. Question answered in a lot of detail. Professor Price is signing out. Those glasses are really hard to see out because they're actually real glasses, they're not fake ones. If you could see, they got the real lenses on them. I need these kind of. Um, I don't need them, but some like they say I do. I don't really. I'm not sure I made a whole load of sense there, but I think you get the idea. Price changes are bad and they need to be removed. Good for EA, they're not good for us. So I'll see you um, in a couple of days' time for the Cinnamon Flab uh, punishment. And Matt, I'll see you on Thursday for another review of a movie that I don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, oh, I've got to show you this thing. Okay, remember how I've not been using my Darth Vader poster for a little while? I don't know why I have not done it for a little while, but last time it was used was actually this vlog. It's not been used since. So I'm going to bring back the movie poster, but it's not going to be the Darth Vader one. In fact, it's even sicker. I found this behind my wardrobe. Behind my wardrobe. All this time, it should have been there. It's such a sick poster. It looks so sick behind there. Why haven't I glued it? I don't know. So see you with this new poster on Thursday, Matt, and for punishment a bit sooner. See you then.